This is the optimized desktop. Let's log on as Jeff. Now, this is an XP computer. It's a little different than a lot of XP computers you're used to because the traditional desktop is what you're used to. It has local data, it has local applications, and my operating system and my printers are kind of configured manually. But the optimized desktop is data as a service, applications as a service, and operating systems configured as a service. So here's my my documents folder. We can see that it's been redirected. My documents data has been redirected yet synchronized with my local operating system. This gives me the ability to access my data from any PC. Now applications as a service. We can see here that this that, that Jeff well, he's a mem this is Active Directory. Jeff is a member of the sales organization or the sales group and the managers group. Well, let's move over to application virtualization. Here's App V. Now, here's Adobe. Now, if we see that, look at the properties. We're going to enable Adobe to the sales group. We're going to enable Office 2003, again, to the sales group. This could be line of business application one. We're going to enable Office 2007 to the managers group because app, application virtualization does application to application isolation. Both of them can run on the same computer at the same time. Now this computer doesn't have any applications installed, but if we look at the properties of the programs folder, the next time that app v synchronizes with the server, it automatically deploys those applications to my computer, to Jeff not my computer, but to Jeff's user account. So here's Word 2007. We're going to launch this for the very first time. It takes about 10 seconds to make this application runnable for the very first time for a new user. Let's open up a document in my, in my documents folder. So we can see under Windows XP, under an optimized desktop, we have data as a service and application deployment as a service because it's associated with my identity. Now presentation virtualization is an application that will run on a remote desktop services computer. So it's server-based applications that are being presented to my computer it gives me that operating system isolation between my OS and the application. With a new remote desktop protocol client, I have 3D capability running on my XP and greater machines. So this is another way we can get applications presented to a, a client as a service. Now printers. The way I have been doing printer deployments for quite a while is I publish a printer to Active Directory. So the directory is the computer saying, well, where am I? And the directory says, you're in building one right now. And I say, well, find me printers that are in building ones, building one that I can print to with my credentials. And it says, okay, the, this is it. And I, did, I gave you the d drivers and it got installed for you automatically. Well, that was kind of cool, but we'll show you something better. So the optimized desktop can insist in operating system migrations. Well, how? Well, first of all, let's change and get rid of the toolbar the ribbon in my Office 2000 computer or uh, Office 2007 application, we're going to see how that is affected when I go to a different operating system. So let's log off my Windows XP computer and then let's log on to a Windows 7 computer. So here we are at Windows 7 computer. We're logged on as administrator and as you can see there's no programs installed on this computer. It's a very vanilla machine and if we look at the advanced system settings we can see that Jeff has never logged on to this computer before. Well let's go ahead and log off administrator and we'll log on as Jeff and then we'll see how this computer has dynamically changed by the person who's logged on to this computer. So let's go ahead and hit control delete and we'll uh, switch users and log on as Jeff. Now I'm not using roaming profiles here. All I'm doing is data as a service through folder redirection, applications as a service with application virtualization and presentation virtualization. So here's Jeff's brand new computer to him. The icon on the desktop followed me over from Windows XP to Windows 7. Let's take a look at the applications automatically right away. Office 2003 is there, Office 2007 is there, and uh, Adobe is also there because it came to me through application virtualization through rapid deployment.
My data is there because data has been presented to me as a service. It followed me from Windows XP to Windows 7. We're launching Office 2007, a virtual application for the very first time on this brand new computer to Jeff. Let's go down here to Windows 7 area. So, like we saw, we manage data as a service. We have enhanced synchronization and folder redirection with Windows 7. With Windows 7. The toolbar personalization followed me from XP to Windows 7. Well, presentation virtualization still follows me over from Windows XP to Windows 7. And Microsoft Enterprise desktop virtualizations for application compatibility. Well, there's two types of applications. Let's there's possibly two types of, of applications. Let's take a look at a browser-based application. Here's MSN.com, which works just fine with, with, with the browser IE8. But let's say I go to an intranet site, or in this case, YouTube. Well, IE8 is going to say, no, no, that is an IE6 application, and it's going to launch IE6 from a virtualized instance of Windows XP that's running on this computer, but it's hidden to the end user. So I can launch a browser, or I can launch an application, like this Contoso Order Entry application. This application, I don't know that it's not installed on my machine, but this gives me time to remediate that application so that it can be compatible with Windows 7. But I get all of the benefits of Windows 7. But you know what? Sometimes applications crash. Sometimes an operating system might crash. So we have the ability to pick up those crashes. So I'm going to launch a bad application. So here we go. Here's my bad application. I'm going to generate an exception on this application. And when, as we can see, when I generated this, automatically it got picked up by IT and it says they've opened a trouble ticket to help remediate this issue. Well, that was fantastic. So desktop error monitoring helped my application and operating system error management. Well, deploying printers, how is that different in an optimized desktop? Here is a group policy, but it's based off of, of a site. It says, if you're in building two, deploy that printer. Or, if you're in building one, deploy this printer. Well, let's enable this site group policy object. And then now, let's take a look at my printers. This computer has no printers installed on it at all. But boom, the next time we synchronized my group policy, that printer was deployed automatically to my machine based on who I am and where I am. This is a great solution for a mobile worker or an information worker.